Moby Dick, 1956, short movie review. Captain Ahab was a whaler back when whaling was big. He lost a leg to a particular whale, Moby Dick. White as snow, humongous. Legends were told about this thing. Nobody was able to kill it. And he wants revenge for this lost leg. So he and a large crew journey out to hunt it, to stalk it, and to kill it. The film is one of these big epic movies, you know, from around this basic period of time, you know, along with movies like The Ten Commandments, Ben-Hur, you know. The effects are amazing. There are a few green screens that are kind of obvious, but that's really it. I don't know how they made the, sh the whales look so real. Some of it may have been real whales, some of it, I guess, mechanical puppets, something. It just, it looks amazing. It is incredibly convincing. The lines, you know, dialogue as well as monologue are incredibly well written. Much of it is taken, as far as I can tell, from the original Herman Melville novel, which is excellent, exactly as it should be. Ray Bradbury's script is great. It doesn't waste any time, and the thematic is really well treated. You know, it is about, you know, just a blinding hatred, you know, about not letting, you know, put, putting your own desires in front of everything else. Gregory Peck as Captain Ahab is fantastic. The, the hatred and the pride is there in his eyes in every uttered word. And the acting in general is phenomenal. The characters are really colorful and interesting, memorable. It's a very intense film. It's 110 minutes, but it doesn't feel long. It feels like an adventure. It's incredibly well shot. It's a, a truly gripping film that really just, you know, it never really lets you down. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below. It's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.